And we've been traveling for over four years now, full yeah. time in our RV, and we've traveled to 32 different states. 32, huh? Yeah, well, yeah. some of them have been winners. <laughs> some of them have not been winners not at all. Not been winners. And that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about our bottom three worst states to RV in. Now, this is from our perspective. Our, our experience. And we're only talking about the states that we've been to mm -hmm. because we can't really speak to the ones that we haven't been to. Correct. So here is our list for the states that, eh, not our favorite. Mm -hmm. Our three worst states, we're going to start from the third worst and work our way up to our very least favorite. Okay. The very, very worst of the worst. Okay. What's third worst? Third worst, and no offense, <laughs> not hurting feelings, it's just we nothing personal. We have to name some, some state, <laughs> yeah. and there's going to be people that live there yeah. that don't get your feelings hurt. And it's a beautiful state. It is. So I'm, it's, it has nothing to do with that. Nothing personal. But our third worst is Indiana. Yes, and there are several reasons why Indiana is the third worst for us. So yes. what are some of the reasons? Um, weather. Weather is one of the bad ones Yeah, for surprisingly, us. surprisingly, there's a high rate of tornadoes in Indiana. Yeah. And they have like these little microbursts. Yeah. These intense storms that just come out of nowhere in this little concentrated area that just beat the crap out of you and then they're gone. Yeah, it's crazy. We had one hit us when we were at the rally. Yeah. And we were over in the rally house doing our dinner or whatever it was. Yeah, last year. And had our flagpole up and one of the little microbursts hit and bam, bent our bent flagpole right, right in half. Yeah. And so it was not forecasted. There's nothing you can do to prepare no. for it. Just hits you out of nowhere. Yeah, that was crazy. One of the other reasons is bad roads. Indiana yes. has some pretty bad roads. They, got, they do the same thing. Yeah. So you're like, Yeah. And it's just so freaking annoying. Some of those gaps are pretty far. And when they line up with your truck tires and your RV tires, it's just like, ah, Constant. It's just so annoying. Yeah, didn't like that. All right, what else? Well, sales tax there pretty high second worst second highest sales tax in the yeah. u.s second only to california who has the highest sales Shocker. tax the sales tax <laughs> in indiana is seven percent yeah so for rv travelers if you go into indiana and you're hanging out for a little bit you try to do your grocery shopping in another state before you get to indiana <laughs> if you want to save a couple bucks yeah yeah and then the last reason in indiana you take offense to this. i take significant <laughs> offense to this they don't sell alcohol on sundays <laughs> Which I don't understand. It's not a big deal it's for not us a big deal. because we carry plenty on board. Yeah. So we don't really need to go to the liquor store on Sunday. You but just feel you should be able to go I any day. I should be able to go any day. Any and day. So, I mean, if people really want alcohol, they're gonna get it on Saturday, and stock up before Sunday, and then, or they're it's, gonna buy it's it on Monday. It's a religious reservation yeah, for the day. I, I'm, maybe it has more to do with like the Sabbath and religion than it does with trying to deter. But I just yeah, it's not a turn. It's a religious. It's thing. 2023. It's almost 2024. Let us buy some alcohol on Sunday. <laughs> Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We have been on our RV mattress for a little over a year and a half, yeah. and we are still loving it. The best mm -hmm. mattress that we've had in any of our RVs. And yeah. matter of fact, better than some of the mattresses we had in some of our houses. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> This month only, they're going to be running a Black Friday sale at the end of the month. And it's going to be the biggest deals of the year mm -hmm. where you can save up to 30% off. But if you're watching this after November 2023, don't worry. You can still save 25%. All you got to do is go into the link in the description, click on it, and use the promotion code WAGS. When you check out, you'll still save 25%. There's multiple sizes, styles, and firmnesses to choose from. You'll get a 120-night sleep trial, 10-year warranty, and free shipping from the factory in Arizona. All right, the second worst. Yes. Kansas. Yes. And there's a couple reasons why Kansas. And, and now, we lived in Kansas. We lived in Kansas, so it's nothing personal, we, Kansas. Yeah, we were stationed in Kansas in the military for a couple years. I deployed to Iraq twice out of Kansas. I was in Kansas way longer than you were in Kansas. But that's not the reason that I hold no. hostility against Kansas. <laughs> no, uh, nothing it's against. not. So, the first thing is just, there's just not a lot to see. No, the scenery there is pretty bland. Yeah, there's not a lot of landscape. It's just flat. You can drive forever yeah. across there. And it doesn't change. So 
you know, states like Texas, you got one side where you have some scenery and the other side's flat. flat. Yeah. Kansas is completely, there's nothing. There's nothing. Nothing there. There are minimal attractions to draw you to Kansas anyway. Yeah. As far as state parks, national parks, you know, fun stuff to do while you're there. Yeah. So the, the folks who are in charge of like tourism and trying to promote Kansas and get, get people in, they're struggling. Sure. They're struggling right now. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's just there's just not a whole lot to do, and no really huge huge cities. You have Topeka, and then you have Kansas City. But Kansas City is mostly on the Missouri side. Sorry, All the yes. good stuffs on the Missouri side. Mm -hmm. So you really don't have. I mean, you got Wichita, but there's not a lot to do. Correct. And because there, it's so flat and so spread out and so far between major cities. Um, there have been internet issues in Kansas. We did have a little bit. Now we have Starlink, so it's not yeah. as bad. But if mm -hmm. you don't have Starlink, you may struggle with your network. Yes. You know, and I don't know which ones work better than others. We have Starlink, and then our backup is T-Mobile Home. When we were in Kansas, we used Verizon, and it worked well in some places for us and not so well in the others. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for me, one of the biggest draws of Kansas was because I had to live it more than you did. Yeah. The extreme heat and extreme cold. Yeah. And That's, extreme wind. <laughs> yeah. Well, the extreme wind is because it's so flat. There's nothing to slow the wind yeah. down. So then when you get the extreme yeah. hot, for some reason in the summertime, when it's extremely hot, the wind doesn't, doesn't blow. blow. But then when it gets extremely cold, the wind decides it's to pick up. Yeah. And there's nowhere to hide. Uh -uh. There's nowhere to go. No. Now, we don't want to say all negative things about Kansas. No. So we want to highlight a couple of the fun things that we've we done there. We have fond memories. Yeah. So we <laughs> we went to the NASCAR race there. Yes. That was our first year full time on the road. Mm -hmm. Went to the NASCAR race. And that is on the Kansas it's side. The racetrack yes. is. And then we went to um, the Wizard of Oz Museum. Yes. Now, we went there several years ago when we were stationed there. Mm -hmm. And it was fun to go back. It and was. it had changed a little bit. It there did. was some more stuff in there, and it was really, really cool. Yeah. Who don't like the Wizard of Oz? I know. Come on. But I will tell you this, though. We don't watch the Wizard of Oz in our house, and there's one reason why. is because we can't. Because if we, we watch the Wizard of Oz, Leslie will say every line from every character through the entire movie. She knows the entire movie. I've seen it once or twice. So I'm like, if we're going to sit here and watch the Wizard of Oz, you have to sit quietly and just enjoy the show. You know how hard that is to sit there and not sing? <laughs> <laughs> so we love you, Kansas. Yes. But you're the second worst. <laughs> yes. All right. So we saved the best for last. We saved the worst for last. And that's true. We saved the worst <laughs> for last. And it's no big shocker to most people. Now. Why this is the worst. But our worst state is, of course, California. It was easy to pick the worst. <laughs> it was. There's And there's lots and lots of reasons why. We will start yeah. off with money it yeah. cost a lot to live travel pass through do anything in california everything's expensive there's nothing cheap the gas prices are just ridiculous especially for folks like us who have to use diesel yes the cost of living even though you're only temporarily living there the cost of living groceries was almost double everything you buy and we already mentioned that they have the highest sales tax sales rate yeah in the country so it just restricts your exploration bubble Yes. And you have to expand your budget yeah. for while you're there. Or plan for, you know, if you're going to California, plan. Yes. Plan well. Uh, the next thing I would say that's a con to California is the road restrictions. Yeah, they have a lot of, they have a lot of roads where certain length vehicles can't, can't go, go. And we're one of those vehicles. <laughs> um, along the coast, a lot of the coastal highways have restrictions because they have tight curves and switchbacks and yeah. so then you have to take alternate routes around yeah. mountains sometimes to yes. get to places so There's it's kind of no hard short sweet direction to a to b yeah and then a lot of times in a lot of areas in california the way to get there is the way there's not another no. way so if that way is jammed up you're just jammed up exactly and they also have emission restrictions yes and it's getting worse yeah so they have restrictions on running any kind of gas engine small two cycle engines yes uh generators is a big deal for rvers yeah i mean they're even starting to restrict you to be able to even use like leaf blowers to blow off your site or your roof yeah so it's it's a little crazy out in california making it less desirable to go hang out yeah 
Okay, third con I would say would be the natural disasters that go with California. You've yeah. got your wildfires, you've got earthquakes, which doesn't totally ruin your experience in California. No, we've experienced an earthquake in California, and being in an RV is probably one of the best places to be. It's actually earthquake. a benefit to be. But the wildfires yeah. disrupted our travels so much. It canceled several of our plans. Uh, we, we were supposed to go to Tahoe, couldn't go there. We were supposed to go to the Redwoods, couldn't go there. We had to get rerouted. We almost got trapped in a spot for a time because one of the fires almost jumped the roads and trapped us so yeah. it is a little discouraging you kind of have to plan your trip to california around wildfire season yeah so really. but but with all that said california's got some good stuff it is a gorgeous state it oh is my beautiful. god I the loved scenery it. the landscape is just beautiful <sighs> we love it out there the weather is perfect yeah year-round almost anywhere except yes. for like you know northern california gets Where cold get gets some snow and stuff yeah. but it's still beautiful out there they have wonderful national park access and attractions in general if you want to go to disneyland there is a ton like that. of stuff you to know, go do in california oh. not a shortage of stuff to do but the stuff to do is pricey it's pricey so yeah budget for it yes well that's it that's our worst three so far so far and i'm sure there's some worse ones out there yeah. so out of all the ones that you've been to leave us a comment let us know if there's ones that you've been to how bad they are and why you think they're the worst yeah hey stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero mm -hmm. if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time mm -hmm. bye, bye.